Hi, welcome to Picture Line. Today we're going to talk about the new signature worthy papers from Epson um, and the fact that they brought out a nice signature worthy sample pack with all the new papers in it. In the pack consists of a hot press paper, uh, which is a nice smooth paper, a cold press, which is more textured, like the old textured fine art was, um, a velvet fine art, which has been out for quite a long time, an exhibition fiber, which is uh, kind of mimics the old darkroom fiber-based glossy papers. It's kind of a, a smooth gloss, they call it, I guess. And then the, the traditional e-surface premium luster that we've all used many, many times before in the darkroom and in our new inkjet printers. Um, first and foremost, uh, let's take a look at these new papers and kind of get a feel for how the sample pack works, what's in it. What's nice is each paper, it looks like, has been marked with some divider pages. One of my biggest beefs about sample packs sometimes is you're never sure exactly which paper you're printing on. So Epson's done a, done a nice job, um, you know, separating. You get two sheets of each, um, hot press, bright, hot press natural, cold, looks like the exhibition fiber, velvet, and premium luster. The most important thing we need to do with these new papers, if we don't, haven't already done it, um, is download a paper profile or a custom paper profile that Epson has done, or some people call them ICC profiles. If we go to pictureline.com, and if I just do a quick search on our website for hot press, there's a direct link there that'll take me to Epson's website. So, t like I said, you go to the Learn More tab, we click here, and it'll take us right to Epson.com and right to their profile page. We want to select their, the printer we're downloading to. Each, since each printer head is different, the, pro the profile for that printer will be different as well. I'll select my 3880. I will go in and then choose whether it's Windows or Macintosh, and I will download, by clicking Download Now, the profile. As this downloads, let's get the paper ready to and get the printer loaded. So now it's time to load our printer. Best thing to do is to, uh, on the 3880, being such a thick fine art paper, if we were to use the, tra the traditional uh, rear load or sheet paper load, the paper is uh, a little bit too thick and sometimes we'll have a hard time grabbing the paper and pulling it through. So we want to make sure we use the supplied uh, manual rear tray to, uh, to load the paper. It's pretty simple. We get it started, um, make sure the printer's turned on, of course, and give it just a little tiny tap on the top of it here and give it some little bit of pressure, and you will actually feel the printer pull the paper into the feed. We'll make sure everything's set up and ready to go. Um, now we want to just let the printer do its initial setup. It's going to look at the paper. It's going to check the edges. It's going to align it properly. Um, it'll say please wait, of course. When it's ready, it will say ready, and we'll get a little green light that says we're ready to print. Now that we've downloaded our profile and installed it on our Mac, now it's time to open Photoshop and start the printing process. I'm going to launch Photoshop. I'm going to pick my image. I want to print. I'm going to open it. When I go to print this image, I want to make sure, first and foremost, that I have chosen the correct printer to print to. I've got a lot of printers here in the store chosen and installed on this computer. So I'm going to choose my 3880. I'm going to make sure my orientation is correct here. I'm going to go to Print Settings. And in Print Settings, since this is a fine art paper, I'm going to load this paper with the 3880's um, fine art manual rear support tray that comes with your printer. I want to make sure that is chosen here. You can use borderless if you'd like or whatever. I'm going to do a little border on mine. Once I've done this, I want to go down to my printer settings. And um, on the PDF we looked at, it talks about how the printer profile was made. I'm going to make sure I choose here Ultra Smooth Fine Art Paper. Um, and it's important that you choose the output resolution here for your printer. I'm going to do, do this one at 1440 DPI, but Epson's actually made for us two profiles, one at 1440 DPI printing and one for 2880 DPI printing. Um, I'm going to make sure that I have my no color management turned on here and selected. 
And high speed can be used because that's how Epson actually built their profile. I'm going to hit save to save these settings. I'm going to now make sure over on this column of my printer dialog in Photoshop that I am using Photoshop to manage my color. And down here, I want to make sure that I've chosen my new paper profile. Um, sometimes the new ones, as you download them and install them, they don't always show up up here. So you may need to scroll down a bit. And you would find down here my 3880 um, hot press bright 1440 DPI profile. And that will show up here. I always choose perceptual for my rendering intent. And I use black point compens compensation. Now we're ready to make a print. So I go ahead and hit print, and we'll see how it turns out. And there we go. There's our print. It looks like it matches our screen. Um, absolutely perfect. Beautiful. Um, any questions, please feel free to drop us a line at uh, pictureline.com. Call the store at 800-748-8200. Um, hopefully this helped in setting up your printer and installing new profiles and Hopefully you'll be able to enjoy these brand new Epson signature worthy papers from Picture Line.